Growing up Catholic, I fell in love with the Eucharist and I fell in love with the Mass. And in particular, I found that music, especially as a musician, allowed me to grow in my own love for God, my love for the Eucharist. Now as a music director, that's something that I desire to share. What I love so much about serving St. Timothy's is that it's a parish that has a history of being focused on evangelization, on bringing others closer into relationship with Christ. It was a parish that started Life Teen. It's a parish that many parishioners have been involved with youth ministry uh, during their time here at the parish. As a music director, I started asking questions like, well, what is the liturgy? What's the purpose of the liturgy? What should we be doing? And that's how I discovered the Anaphons. The Anaphons were something that our church gives us in the Missal to sing, and they tie into each liturgy, and that the text gives us something to reflect on, to realize what is God saying to me in this particular liturgy? What is God saying to me in this moment in my life? Men of Galilee, why gaze in wonder at the heavens? Miss Jesus, whom you saw ascending into heaven, will return as you saw him. Was something that I said to the whole parish, let's be patient with this. Let's give it three years because of the three-year liturgical cycle, right? You start to see how these anaphons and how these liturgies repeat themselves. And I think there's something to that rhythm of the yearly cycle and also to the, the three-year cycle that is beautiful. I noticed that after three years, it's the parish start to, to learn the antiphons, to start being welcome to sing the antiphons. And I think there is something that our church desires in inviting us to sing as a congregation. In singing, we're able to, to open up our heart more. We're able to, to surrender ourselves more. And so beginning to see that in the congregation was uh, so beautiful. The Anaphons are a way that we've embraced as a community to celebrate the liturgy. And that's what I love about the resources that Source and Summit provides, is they give us the ability to sing the Anaphons, the text that's in the Missal, in a way that connects us to the way that it has been sung in our church's past. Because ultimately what the church calls us to is to sing the Mass, to sing the Mass itself, to sing the text that the church provides for us. The Mass itself is a song of Christ to the Father, and so for us to be able to, to sing, to be able to join in with that song, it allows us to be able to enter in and to participate with Christ's sacrifice to the Father. And that's what the whole purpose of the liturgy is. That's the whole purpose of the Mass. So if we can do that in our music, if we can do that with the way that we prepare for our liturgies, we're giving our congregation even more that opportunity to enter in beautifully.